Hello, I'm George Yura, recording for ICIT. In this week's Microsoft Office Feature of the Week, we will look at the Zoom feature in Microsoft Word. So let's get started. I already have Microsoft Word running, so I will just click on the button on my taskbar to bring it to the front, and I will open a document. It's a document I got as an email attachment, so I will open it and immediately we have a problem. Now this might be very convenient if you want to have an overview of what is in your document, but it certainly is not going to help me very much if I want to edit the text. It's all too small. I can't see the text, I can't read it, I can't work with it. So what do we do? Let's start with the most obvious solution. I can use my mouse and I will mouse over to the lower right corner of my Microsoft Office window Microsoft Word window and here we have the zoom slider. The zoom slider lets me click and drag and it will increase the size or magnification of the pages. If I drag to the right it makes them bigger. If I drag it to the left it makes them smaller. Now if this is a little bit difficult to control the alternative would be to use the plus minus buttons at the end of the slider. If I click on the plus sign, it zooms in in smaller steps. If I click on the minus sign, it zooms out. Now, this is OK, but it's not very precise. Another alternative would be, instead of the slider, to click on the number, percentage number, that's to the left of the slider. Let's try that. I'm going to click. And this brings up the Zoom dialog box. Here I can choose much more precise options that are much more workable for me. In this case, I will click on page width and that will zoom the document just to one page, not entire page actually, the width of the page so I can see the text and work with it. I will click OK and here we are. So now we managed to zoom in and we can work with our document. Um, it's easy, I can read the text, I can scroll through it, no problem. Let's close the document, Control W, and let's open it again. Okay, you might think um, all this mousing around is perhaps not very convenient. So is there a faster way to do it? Sure, let's try it now. Instead of using the slider in the lower corner of your screen right here, we could actually use something else. Let's press the Alt key on your keyboard. And as you see now, we have the overlay with letters on top of your ribbon. I will click on W to go to the View tab of the ribbon. And here also we have an overlay with letters and numbers. And I can directly use my keyboard to choose one of the options here. I could choose one to see just one page. The number is right here. Instead of clicking on it, I will just press 1 on my keyboard. And we see just one page. But this is not good enough. I would like to have the width of the page. So once again, Alt, W. And now I want page width, which happens to be the letter I. OK. Now, what about if I want to zoom in to 200%? Alt, W, and now let's try the Zoom tool, which is Q. And now, instead of using the mouse, I can simply press the number or the letter of the choice which is underlined, and this will choose it. I will select T for text width and press Enter. And there we go. So in other words, you can always do Alt, W, Q, let's say 2 for 200 or alt w q p for page width or alt w q and then t for text width or alt w and 2 for two pages that works great it's much faster for me than using the mouse let's close our document control w and i will open it again And we have a problem because it opens again at this strange Zoom 
magnification. It's not very convenient. Of course, now we know that we can do Alt W Q P enter and it zooms right in. But I don't want to have to do it every time. Okay, I will close it and open it again. And now I will do something slightly different. It's very similar, but has one extra step. I will do Alt W to go to the view tab on my ribbon. I will choose Q to go to the zoom dialog box. I will choose P for page width. I will press enter. But now, before doing absolutely anything else, I will also click on the space bar on my keyboard. This will insert just one space in my document. Immediately afterwards, I will click on backspace to delete this space. And now I will do Control S for saving. You could also go to the Office button and choose Save. Control S to save. It's saved. I will close the document. Control W. And now let's try opening opening it again. So there we go. And now it opens at the right magnification that I set. Of course, if you don't like that, you can always change it. If you want your document to open with two pages, for example, we could do Alt W and 2. And now we remember we can do spacebar, backspace, Control S to save. And now if we close Control W and reopen, it will open at the magnification that we saved. So this is a convenient way to zoom in or zoom out in your document, but also a convenient way to save the zoom setting with the document so when you open it in the future, it comes at the right magnification. That's all for this week. I'm George Yura, recording for ICIT, and I hope you will join me next week for a Microsoft Office Feature of the Week podcast. Thank you. Goodbye.